Um, there, oh, there was some speculation, there always is. One of the things about Strictly Come Dancing, we all watch it, and you see, obviously, there's a certain intimacy yeah. that goes on. Because you're close to there's a good looking woman with a good looking man. Ali, was his name Ali Ash or Ali Ash. Okay, and there was speculation, <laughs> oh my God, there's something happening there. Mm. And that must be, I guess you must know that's going to come up before you even go in, don't you? Yeah, you do. I think it was one of the reservations I had about it, really. I didn't really want to bring any of that attention home. And I was. On the lawn show, I was desperate to have Robin because we had two days rehearsal and we got to dance with all the pros and I, I really connected with Robin. And then when I didn't get him, I, he got Deborah and I was crying my eyes out and got paired with Ali Ash. But after a day of dancing, you don't even think of, about anything like that. And I know what went on and he knows what went on. So it's not it's not like that. You're just learning to dance. And for him, he was he was really keen on telling a story through dancing and he wanted it to be believable and you have to play a role. Like our first dance was Romeo and Juliet was quite awkward. Did anyone get off with anyone though? <laughs> no. Did Deborah get off with anyone? No. <laughs> Did Brucey get off with anyone? Bruce may have, yes. Um, let me ask you about the, uh, the various rumours I've read about you in the press. Because you get a lot of attention, I guess, because Peter's who he is and because now, you know, you're even better known there. And by the way, did you, did you notice, have people changed in the way they are towards you after Strictly Come Dancing, do you think? Yeah, a few of the cast were like, oh, I thought you'd be a bit of a, bit of a knob in real life, but you know, <laughs> you know, people, <laughs> people are a bit like, oh, God, you're actually all right. OK, here you go. These are some of the things I read. You've been reading guides on how to speak like a newsreader in an attempt to tone down your Scouse accent. Is that true? <laughs> no, that's okay. not true. I, because if it, Scouse cause, and proud. Yeah, and because if you were, it's not working. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> and they were right. Why should you change? Uh, after Sophia was born, Pete, Pete bought you a fat-reducing suit to wear in bed to make you thin again. That was in one of the papers. No, he didn't. But uh, what, it, what it is even? What is that? Do they exist? Well, I'm wearing mine right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you once got stuck on a roller coaster and were screaming for Pete, who was on the ground as he'd been too tall to go on the ride. That's not true. <laughs> but he must be. I bet he's too tall for some rides. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> How tall is he? Six, seven. Oh, that's too tall. Um, <laughs> you chipped your tooth on the, at the Strictly Rap Party whilst drunkly attempting to eat the Glitter Ball trophy. That's true. <laughs> 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 My brother's got video evidence filming me in the car going, is it real? And it, I woke up and had half a front tooth. I was like, what the hell? Wow. wow. Well, it's fixed now. <laughs> well, they've done a good job. You sometimes <laughs> lie to Peter about how much money you've spent in the shops and put all of your bags into one so he can't see the evidence. <laughs> That's true as well. Yeah. <laughs> this is Brian, isn't it? Tell us, uh, <laughs> tell us who Brian is. Uh, uh, Brian's is... Jemima, my girlfriend's dog. I love him so much, I feel real tranquil and peaceful around him. Look how noble and glorious he is. Never know. <laughs> I got money in my hands that I'd really like to blow. 